thank you very much, and I hope that we have a few viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Snyder was telling me about this project. He kind of helped to do some of the uh, the audio work. And uh, Bob, there is there are some scenes I think that the, the tribe fans have, have never seen before in your in your uh, career. Yes, uh, I'm sure they haven't seen me in some of those things that uh, way back in the beginning, which has been uh, what uh, 69 years ago, I believe. Wow! Back in nineteen back in nineteen thirty six, and of course, uh, I've enjoyed being here in Cleveland ever since World War Two. I mean, as far as be my home. Well, Bob, I do want to say it was really my privilege to be able to just uh, be part of the uh, of of your DVD uh, with uh, the, the narration part. And, and you know, it struck me was the, the the story that you, you, this is your story about all facets of your life, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. I've done a lot of things besides. Throwing a baseball, <clears throat> throwing a baseball, and working on the farm, driving tractors, and then being in, oh, you know, in the military, and uh, during World War II, and of course uh, in different businesses, and uh, then coming back with the Indians in uh, 1980, and when I rejoined the Indians after being in the hotel business and the insurance business, I've I've enjoyed it and had a lot of fun, made a few friends, I hope. And one of the things that struck me, Bob, was as we look at, uh, you know, as the world goes on, I mean, it all started for you playing catch with your dad, didn't it? Well, that was the best days of my life, back there with my dad in the hog lot and in the barn in the wintertime, playing ball and uh, working out in the gymnasium, and my dad and mother were lucky enough to be in Chicago the day that... Uh, I took to know hitter on opening day, and they came to Chicago quite often when the Indians went to town. And the best ballpark I pitched in was I, I had to pitch in was Comiskey. I had a very good record there. Well, Bob, your records are astonishing, and and yet, uh, you know, and people wonder, uh, like myself over the years, if we projected the numbers you would have had uh, when you were out defending your country, what what they would have been in baseball lore. But you you never have any regrets there, do you? That uh, that you didn't get to pitch those years? Absolutely not. Uh, didn't. Uh, we won. We won one big one. The great Bob Feller is with us. The Bob Feller story on DVD is now available at your uh, Indians uh, team shops. Bob, I had a great opportunity this summer. I had a chance to watch a couple innings with you down at the ballpark with our mutual friend Bob DiBiasio, and you were commenting at that time. You look at, you know, this this pitching staff we had this year could have been one of the better staffs the Indians have had in modern times. Uh, the Indians have got a good ball club. Uh, they uh, they have a little work to do on playing small ball, and we all know that. Right. Uh, they they didn't play small ball the last couple weeks of the season, and uh, I'm sure that's going to be number one on their agenda when they get down to uh, spring training, and at least I hope it is, and I'll be there, of course, with them and, and doing the things I always do there in the uh, – food court, sign autographs, shake hands, tell rainy day stories, play a little catch. Well, Bob, you, you know, at 87, you're still a very astute observer of the game, and as uh, I, you want to talk about, the, you know, spring training, you're already getting us thinking about that. Uh, what, what are some of your thoughts, maybe just in, in short uh, capsule thoughts you have about the young pitchers, CC Sabathia, Cliff Lee on this roster? Well, they have some good, they have some very good talent on the roster. They have very, very good talent. I think that the uh, with, if they if they learn to do the fundamentals properly, like the teams that are in the po- in the postseason in the final part of the postseason do, they they will they will be able to compete this year and uh, and and be in in postseason. But winning ninety three games doesn't mean a thing because the Yankees won one hundred and three in nineteen fifty four. We won one hundred eleven. They went home. We went to the World Series and lost <laughs> four straight. But I mean, to the Giants who uh, played very good ball, but they have they're having up and coming young ball club, but. Uh, I, I think that the spring training is going to be a, very big this year, learning how to play small ball and do all the fundamentals, which will put you right into postseason and maybe into the World Series. Rapid Robert, uh, the Bob Feller story, DVD. It's now at the Indians team shop, sir. It's uh, always great to talk to you, and uh, we love the attitude because as soon as he answered the phone, Bob's ready to talk about going to Winter Haven. There and you go. We like that sound, Bob. I'm, I'm packed up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. All the best. Bye-bye.